Question number 17, we are told uh, a rectangular tank measures 2.4 meter long, 2 meter wide, and uh, 1.5 meter high. The tank contains some water to a height of 0 0.45 meters. But A, calculate the amount of water in liters needed to fill up the tank. You get three marks. Uh, normally, when you're answering, these are section two question. Uh, when you're answering this question, you, ca you are supposed to read all of them, uh, mark the ones that you can be able to attempt, then continue working. But this because we are revising, we can just start by answer answering a, a from part A, calculate the amount of water in liters needed to fill up the tank. So because the tank is 1.5 uh, uh, meter high, uh, you minus the, the the level of water which is 0 0.45 and using your calculator or you just subtract you'll be able to get the remaining level of water is 1.05 uh, meters so you can get the volume uh, remaining to be filled you will say volume is equals to uh, the, the 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 length is 2.4 uh, then you multiply by uh, 2 meters uh, you multiply by now 1.05 uh, meters and that see this when you multiply you get it is 5.04 uh, uh, meters cubed but we know 1000 meters cubed is equals to of the question we are told an inlet pipe was opened and water led to flow into the tank at a rate of 10 liters per minute. Uh, after one hour, a drain pipe was opened and water allowed to flow out of the tank at a rate of 4 liters per minute. Calculate A, the height of the water in the tank after 3 hours. So let's find out the amount of water that was in the tank initially when the height was uh, 0 0.45 so it is, uh, we just say volume is equals to 2.4 uh, that is the length uh, you multiply by 2 meters and you multiply by the height of 0 0.45 so when you multiply that using your calculator uh, you should be able to get 2.1 uh, 2.1 uh, 6 uh, meter cube uh, which you can convert to liters by multiplying by a thousand so that should give uh, you uh, 2,000 2,160 liters so that is the water that was in the tank when a pipe of uh, 10, 10 liters per per minute for one hour we have 60, 60 uh, minutes in one hour so it means if it is delivering 10 liters in a minute, it will deliver uh, 600 liters. So this will give you 600 liters, which we can add to the initial volume of the tank. So we add, we say volume is equals to 2,160. Uh, you add uh, 600 and this should give you when you total those to, uh, the two you get 2760 liters uh 60 liters so by the time this the outlet pipe was uh, opened that is uh, a volume of water that was in the tank now when the uh, the, the 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 outlet tank uh, pipe was opened uh the water that was retained in the tank since the, t the outlet was uh, uh, removing water at the rate of four liters per minute the water that was retained is six uh, liters uh, per minute after you remove four out of ten so for uh, then we can get the what the for two hours that is uh, because we already so we have the this Roman number two we have uh, the total time taken to fill up the tank so if you look at the, the measurements given, we can get the volume of the whole tank. So volume of the whole tank is equals to uh, 2.4, you multiply by 2, you multiply by 1.5,
and that will give you 7.2 meters cube uh, which is equals to uh, 7200 uh, liters so we subtract to get the water uh, that uh, that the water remaining to be filled from what is already in the tank so we subtract from uh, 7200 we subtract the volume that is in the tank which is uh, 3480 liters and this is going to give us when you subtract that uh, you'll be able to get this is that is seven uh, three thousand seven hundred and twenty using your calculator liters uh, because water <coughs> the part that is remaining for the water is six uh, liters per minute we divide this by six uh, six uh, we'll be able to get uh, this is equals to uh, 620 minutes 620 uh, minutes which is equals to uh, if you divide by 60 you get this is 10 hours uh, 20 minutes so that is a time so we have the this Roman number 2 we have uh, the total time taken to fill up the tank so if you look at the, the measurements given we can get the volume of the whole tank so volume of the whole tank is equals to uh, 2.4 you multiply by 2 you multiply by 1.5 and that will give you 7.2 meters cube uh, which is equals to uh, 7200 uh, liters so we subtract to get the water uh, that uh, that the water remaining to be filled from what is already in the tank so we subtract from uh, 7200 we subtract the volume that is in the tank which is uh, 3480 liters and this is going to give us when you subtract that uh, you'll be able to get this is that is seven uh, three thousand seven hundred and twenty using your calculator liters uh, because water <coughs> the part that is remaining for the water is six uh, liters per minute we divide this by six uh, six uh, we'll be able to get uh, this is equals to uh, 620 minutes 620 uh, minutes which is equals to uh, if you divide by 60 you get this is 10 hours uh, 20 minutes so the time that uh, take the pipe the two pipes to fill the tank uh, one inlet and one outlet and because they had taken uh, three hours area we can say that uh, this is equals to we had the three hours so it will be 13 hours uh, and 20 minutes so that is the total time uh, it will take to fill uh, up the tank so that's how you work out that question and you get yourself 10 marks